In this video, we'll be showing you how to make a poinsettia. So for this, I'm using size 8 needles, and I'm just using double pointed needles because of how small they are. You can use whatever needles and whatever size to fit your yarn gauge. You'll also be needing tapestry needles so that we can sew our flower together in the end. You'll also be needing your flower color, so I'm using Craft Smart in bright red. Poinsettias are also white too, so you can get an off-white cream color. Then you'll need your green leaf yarn, so I'm using Red Heart, Super Saver, and Medium Green. And then for the very center of our flower, we're going to need some yellow or like a creamy white. So I'm using Karen Simply Soft and Sunshine. It's also a good idea to have a pen, paper, and some little tags so you can mark your petals. So for this, we'll be making a large flower, and we're going to have petals A, B, and C. So to make petal A, you're going to take your red yarn or your flower yarn if you're making a white one. You're going to leave a small tail and you're going to cast on four stitches. Then you're going to, this is your right side row, you're going to knit one. Then you're going to do a front and back increase. So in your next stitch, you're going to knit in the front, swing your needle around and knit in the back loop of that same stitch. And then for your next stitch, you're going to do the same thing, the front and back increase. And then you're going to knit one. Now on the wrong side rows, we're just going to purl across. So this makes it really easy. After your increase row, you just purl all your stitches. So now for all right side rows will be increase rows. And we're going to keep increasing in that manner until we get 14 stitches. So you just knit your first stitch and then you do your increase in your second stitch. So you just knit in the front and knit in the back of the same loop for your increase. Then you knit across to your last two stitches and you're going to do a knit in the front and back increase and then knit your last stitch. Then you're just going to purl across all wrong side rows and you're going to continue until you have 14 stitches. So once you have your 14 stitches, this is what your leaf or your petal should look like. So now when you're so now from here we're going to be decreasing our petal. So now on every front side row, you're going to knit one, knit two together. Then you're going to knit all the way to your last three stitches. Then you're going to knit two together and knit one. And you're still going to purl all your wrong side rows, but on every right side row, you're going to keep decreasing two stitches. You're going to keep decreasing one stitch on either side until you end up with eight stitches. So once you have your eight stitches on your purl row, which will be your final row, you're going to bind off as you purl. So just purl one stitch, purl your second stitch, pass that first stitch over. And you're just going to keep that until you end up with only one stitch left. So you just want to leave a small tail, and there is your petal. So now for petal A, for petal A, you want to repeat this six more times. So you want to have six petals in total of what we just did, and you want to make a name tag and mark these as petal A. 
So now for petal B, you're going to repeat the same process as we did for petal A, except you're going to increase until you get 16 stitches. Once you reach 16, you're going to do the same type of decrease until you get to eight stitches. And you're going to repeat that six more times. So you want six petals of petal B. And you want to keep those together with the tag so you know that these are petal B. Now for petal C, you want to switch over to your leaf color and you're going to be making your green leaves. So now for this, you're going to be doing the same thing as petal A and B and you're going to increase until you get to 18 stitches. Once you reach 18, you're going to decrease until you get to 8. And you want to repeat that for 6 leaves. And make sure you mark them as petal C. So now, after we've made all our petals, we're going to go ahead and make the center of our flower. So you want to take your yellow or creamy white. You want to cast on 20 stitches of your yellow. So once you have your 20 stitches, you're just go you're just going to do a knit bind off. So you're just going to knit your stitch like normal, knit your second stitch, pass that stitch over. And you're just going to do a knit bind off until you've bound off all 20 stitches. So after you bound off all your stitches, you're just going to cut at least a 8 to 12 inch tail because we'll be using that later. And now we're going to assemble our flower. So to begin assembling your flower, you're going to take your sewing needle and petal C, our leaf. And this is how they're going to sit. Bind off side down, cast on side up at the top of the leaf. So you're going to take the tail. Now if you don't have long tails, you just get the same color yarn as you're sewing. But I'm going to use the tails from my leaves. So you're just going to go ahead and thread and now we're going to, okay you're going to go, you'll see your first stitch, you're going to go in through the back, come up next to the second stitch, you're going to go over two stitches in through the back, up in the next stitch, and then you're going to go back down over the next stitch and out the first stitch of the side. And you're going to pull a little tight because we want to make our leaf a little gathered. Now you're going to go ahead and pick up another leaf and you're going to thread it the same way. So you're going to go in through the first stitch, up in the next stitch, over a stitch, under a stitch, kind of like an accordion, over to the stitch and then out the first side stitch. And you're going to draw that next to your first leaf tug to gather that one as well. And you're going to keep doing that until you have until you have all your green leaves attached. So once you have all six of your leaves gathered together, you're just going to connect your final leaf with your first leaf by just threading it through the front to the back. And just pull them together. And that is your leaf setup for now. And then you'll just fasten this off in the back. And then you'll weave in all your cast on yarns and everything so you have so you have no leftover yarn hanging anywhere. Now you're going to assemble petals B, and you're gonna do them the exact same way as we did the leaves. Just going to accordion up with your thread yarn, pull it tight and create our little wreath design. And then you're going to do the same thing with petals A. 
Once we have them all on their own little wreath, we're gonna assemble them then. So once you have all your petals attached and all of your ends weaved in, make sure to leave one strand, one strand on every section of leaves so that we can sew them together and one on our leaves so that we can add it to a project, a pin, a hair clip, things like that. So before we assemble the flower together, we're going to take our A petals and our yellow center. We're going to thread the long tail onto a needle and we're going to do the same thing like we did with our leaves. We're going to go in and out of every stitch. Pull your yarn through until it's a little bunch like that. Then we're going to wrap it around to create like a nub. And we're just going to stitch the corner together just once. Then on our A petals, we're just going to sit that in the middle, kind of bunch it and form it how you'd like it to sit, and thread the tail of our yellow through to the back. Okay. So then once you have it situated where you like it, then you're just going to kind of go around the edges of the yellow and tack it to the red. Once you've made it around your center, you're just going to do one final tack, pushing your yellow through to the back. So now you have your center attached to your flower. And underneath, you're just going to knot it with your yellow tail. And knot it with your red tail. Just wanna make sure that this is secure. And now you're going to trim your yellow threads and now we're going to be attaching our flower together. You want to thread the tail from section A with the middle. So what you're going to do is then take your yarn and you're going to go on section B and you're just going to go up and down in between your stitches all the way around the center and you want to pull it tight to get your petals situated and you want to make sure that they're in between the petals of your next section of flowers. So once you got it pulled tightly on there then you're just going to thread your yarn through the back to the bottom of section B. And then you're just going to take those two ends and just knot them. trimming the one from section A. Now we're going to thread section B onto our needle and we're going to do the same thing connecting it to section C, our leaves. So you're just going to go in and out of all your stitches around the center of C. As you make it all the way around, you're going to pull tight to attach it. Make sure that your leaves sit the opposite of the leaves below it. 
pull it tight and send it through the back of green. And then you're just going to knot it with your green thread. Clipping your red. And now you can decide if you're going to be attaching this to a hat or to a hairpin or even you can use it as a decoration just to set it over a table or something. And then you would just arrange and unroll your leaves. If this flower is too big for your liking and you'd like a smaller one, you're just going to make six of petal A in red and six of petal B in green. Still do the center, but you take off these back leaves so that this would be your flower. Also, just changing your yarn thickness and needles will change the size of this flower as well. Remember, full instructions are written down below. So I hope you enjoyed this flower, and if you make it, please send me pictures. I would love to see your interpretations, especially if you make it in another color, white or any of your other favorite colors. So I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you for watching. Have a happy holidays, and I'll see you soon. Thank you for watching.